Hey, we just got information for a new tornado warning here. This is for St. John's County here. We are tracking it on First Alert Doppler HD. Here it is. This is the tornado warning in effect until 9 a.m. Uh, for areas that do include downtown St. Augustine. We're tracking it here. This is the area we're seeing. You see that polygon right there. This includes uh, just the edge of St. Augustine Beach up into Volano Beach and over just near maybe St. Augustine Shores or maybe a little bit uh, to the east or to the north of that. But we are tracking it until 9. Trevor, let's look at the radar velocities. This is what's coming ashore here. And we also have now um, Chief Meteorologist Mike Burris joining us. Just walked into the studio, mic'd up, and here's a tornado warning right as you arrived. Right on schedule, right, Rich? We, uh, uh, Rich, I just talked to Rich Jones. Oh, okay. Garrett, uh, we are tracking that circulation. And we've been talking about this, Garrett, for, for days, and of course, it's typical for tropical systems when we get these little circulations that yeah. come in off the ocean in a hurry and then quickly have the potential to produce a water spout and or tornado. And they've been trying to spin up a little bit sure. here this morning already, and now we're getting enough from the National Weather Service to say this one is could be potentially coming to shore. It's radar indicated, so it is, uh, we're tracking winds of 70 right. plus, 80 plus. Look at this, yeah. yeah. Trevor's just putting on here the wind speed. So remember, five sweet first third Doppler HD is beautiful in that we can see the, the rain in yeah. there, but obviously the wind too. And this is a classic tropical circulation, isn't it, Garrett? Yeah. Where you don't, if you if you live in other parts of the country and see tornado indications, or sometimes here too in the in the late fall, winter, early spring, we talk about those colors on top of other colors or next to one another, red and the green. That's it's a different beast yeah. when you're talking about the tropics. We should track this circulation, yeah. Trevor, and move it west northwest. About is it about 45? Yeah, 40 to 50. Uh, okay. 45 is what we got. 55. 55. 50, okay, okay. So Trevor's can... tracking it at 55. They're booking. Yeah. So remember, and, and so this is going to be on shore within minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, very near St. Augustine. We are simulcasting now on 104.5 WOKV. So for our radio listeners on I-95, Southern St. John's County, we want you to stop traveling right now. Give it a break. Let the storm get past Interstate 95. It'll move into the outlets area, Highway 16, a little bit south of the World Golf Village. So St. Augustine in five minutes. The circulation will be there, and it looks like it's already just there's an update. It's very very near the intercoastal now, very near St. Augustine. There might be another one right behind that, you guys, too, that's coming in from the uh, east southeast. These are moving west northwest. Now, let's go ahead and put the tracker on here again, you guys, uh, from uh, the circulation that is now on the intercoastal, moving west northwest at around 50 to 55 miles per hour, moving into St. Augustine right now, the St. Augustine outlet. So I 95 and Highway 16 at about 835. The World Gulf Village at about 841. This is where, as this quickly moves to the west northwest, we could have damage from a tornado. Remember our tornado rules. And also, you guys, uh, GR, first alert GR2 storm analyst would be a, a handy thing probably here too. Uh, if you're in the path of this tornado, we'd ask you first and foremost to stay calm. Get into an interior hallway or bathroom protecting your head and face uh, with maybe a pillow, a blanket, and stay away from windows. Stay in the lowest part of the building that you're in. If you're in an apartment complex, we recommend the lowest part of that apartment complex. If you're in an apartment that's above ground floor, then that interior hallway or bathroom. Again, protecting your head and face and get out of mobile homes and do not get into an automobile. Those are, uh, those are like little uh, toys when, um, when they're brought a, when a tornado strikes and, and hits your area. So we want you to stay out of automobiles and away from any windows.